More than 15 years ago, Nintendo released Wii Sports, inaugurating a new era for motion controls and making the world wild for Waggle. Today, it remains an indelible part of Nintendo's history, and that legacy is continuing with Nintendo Switch Sports in more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, snap. That's a first. <laughs> Nintendo Switch Sports is a collection of six minigames, some of which will be familiar to longtime Nintendo fans, some of which are brand new. Go! Tennis and bowling are functionally very similar to their counterparts on the Wii, while the more complex motion controls of badminton and sword fighting are reminiscent of Wii Sports Resort. It's worth mentioning that Nintendo Switch Sports has less than half the number of minigames available in Wii Sports Resort, though it will add golf as a free download later in the year. What it offers instead is online multiplayer, a first for the series. Online play in turn adds expanded functionality for some of the games, such as support for eight player multiplayer in bowling. Feedback from a recent online test was good, and there's every indication that Nintendo Switch Sports' online multiplayer will be a strength when the final release becomes available later in the month. But local multiplayer is the heart of Nintendo Switch Sports' appeal, and that was how I spent most of my time in my recent hands-on preview. After choosing my customized Sportsmate, Nintendo's replacement for the Mii, I tried all six minigames, beginning with a 13-round shooting session in soccer and finishing up with sword fighting. By the end, I had even managed to work up a little bit of a sweat, which might be because motion-controlled sports felt novel to me again. Give me a month, and there's a solid chance that I'll be back on the couch controlling everything with a flick of my wrist. My favorite of the minigames was the sword fighting. Referred to as Shambara, a nod to Japan's samurai film genre, it pits two sword fighters against one another as they try to push each other off a platform and into the water below. Rounds consist of a breathless flurry of blocks and rapaces that at first feel like the motion control version of butt mashing but soon reveal a deep and entertaining level of strategy that belies its deceptively simple mechanics. It made me think of the early days of the Wii, when everyone was obsessed with the notion of a lightsaber game using the Wii Remote. The demand laid bare the limitations of the original Wii Remote, prompting Nintendo to release the improved Wii Motion Plus peripheral alongside Wii Sports Resort. We've had many sword games since, but as I overwhelmed Nintendo's PR rep with a flurry of diagonal slashes, I thought of my once fervent wish for a motion-controlled lightsaber game. Tennis, by contrast, utterly defeated me. Having made the leap to switch more or less unchanged, it's still based more on timing than actual finesse, or so it seems to me. Of course, I'm pretty miserable at tennis in real life too, so maybe this is just an example of Nintendo Switch Sports being more realistic than I give it credit for. I had better luck with badminton, which was similar to tennis, but featured more precise motion controls on top of a deeper strategy layer thanks to its spike mechanic. The best moment, though, was when I accidentally reenacted one of the most famous memes from the mid-2000s with my shoe. Nintendo Switch Sports supports Ring Fit's leg strap, which is used for its new soccer minigame. I was trying out its shootout mode, which involves swinging my leg awkwardly at just the right moment, and, well, this happened. <laughs> it goes to show that the more things change with Nintendo Switch Sports, the more they stay the same. Still, I had fun revisiting the heyday of motion controls for an afternoon, pretending to be a sword fighter and accidentally sending my shoe into Nintendo-owned television screens. Like the original Wii Sports, most of the minigames rely more on novelty than substance, which made me question whether they will ultimately have any degree of staying power. Then again, I don't think anyone expected to still be talking about Wii Sports more than 15 years after its original release. Some games are just timeless. Check out our homepage for a full preview, and for everything you need to know about the rest of the video game world, stick with IGN.